Hi, my name is Miguel from AvoidErrors.net and this tutorial is on how to network a printer. There's many ways that the printer can be shared. This is the most common way offices has their uh, printer being shared, which is the best way. All uh, computers connected to the router and the printer connected to the router. Now in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make all the printers, I'm sorry, all the computers print to that Epson printer or HP printer up here this is the best system for printer sharing now you can do this at the office or home but this configuration is mostly used on offices which is great now this is really simple to do a lot of uh, business owners hire IT to do this simple configuration and you can do it yourself I'm gonna show you right now how to do it if you already have a printer or you're planning to buy a printer make sure your printer has Ethernet port and connect the printer throughout a cable to your router using the Ethernet cable. Ethernet cable looks like this. Notice I prefer Ethernet instead of wireless. Wireless can cause a bit of headache, trust me, especially for office users. Now before we start, if you have a software that uses uh, like Norton as a firewall, make sure is properly configured or disabled to start. In my case, I'm using a Samsung uh, network printer. So most of the printer configuration are basically the same. Just look where it says network, and if it doesn't say it, try going to an advanced option like here. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on custom installation because I don't see anywhere where it says network here. In the custom installation, I'm gonna just accept the agreement and click next. It should be basically the same. And here I see wired wireless and as you can see the ethernet port the I'm sorry the ethernet cable I showed you not the USB so we're gonna select wired or wireless because that's the cable that we're using and here's gonna search the network for the printer keep in mind that if it doesn't find the printer is because you probably have a firewall blocking you make sure that the firewall is disabled or properly configured as you can see the IP address of the network uh, printer and all the specs. I'm just gonna go ahead and click next and keep on clicking next because this is really simple to to do. Just go ahead and click next and here it's asking me to I don't know uh, specify it again my Samsung printer select it and then click next and do this for all the computers if there's one computer in the network that didn't find the printer is because remember you probably have a firewall blocking you make sure that it's disabled or properly configured uh, for, for the network printer which is you know very easy now you do this same step take the CD if you're if you're on a small network uh, five seven PCs and you can go to each computer each PC and do the same install the CD and, and just let it run like you saw here thank you for watching this video my name is Miguel from avoid net